In this Photoshop tutorial I want to show you how I made this manipulation. This is the basic uh, composite, uh, just uh, three or four stock images combined. I'll show you how I get to this. And I want to show you how, how I went from this to the final result, which is this. So I'll show you how to add all these light effects and how to get this, this effect. And now that we have the most important elements here on the canvas, we can start making adjustments to this. And I started with the making some general adjustments affecting the background. So I can hide the woman layer for now just uh, because I want you to focus on the background. And I just added um, two gradient maps for this. And I set the opacity to 60%. And that way we get uh, that um, mood because I want to create that uh, sort of sunset effect. So uh, with this gradient map I give color and also some contrast and with this one I darken, with the black and white I darken the image. For example, but also don't saturate it too much, you can see it's not looking too nice. It's just something like this, a color like this. And of course for this to, to look more realistic you have to create some shadows on the dress itself. So create a new layer and right click and select create clipping mask and name it uh, body shadows for example. Uh, the scale controls the, the transition, you can see that there. The bigger the scale, the smoother the transition. So I set it to 55. And maybe desaturate the color. I want to leave some light there. And let's uncheck use global light because I don't want to affect the other layers. I use that global light on the rocks, so I don't want to. If I change, if I leave this to global light, and change this, you will see the light uh, changing on the rock as well. See there, and I don't want to do that, so I'll set this back to I think it was at 28, and disable that. And now I can move this freely, and I only affect this layer. Okay, something like that. The distance is okay. Uh, a bit more distance and less size and. A darker color because I don't want that much light. Distance too big, size softer. Okay, that's the effect. It's not. It's very. Um, just adds a bit of light on that part of the face and on the hand, which is what we want. But I need a more saturated color, just a bit. Okay. If you want to be a bit more realistic, you can create some shadows like we did on the woman, like we did with the body shadows, uh, paint this the bottom part of the watch, the, the part that is um, opposite to the sun, so you, can pay, you can paint this part with black with a really low opacity brush to make it darker, just to have a reference point, uh, you can put it uh, next to the woman and see more or less how big it is, and let's place it here. Also, uh, be careful where the light hits, you can see this part is brighter and this is, uh, part is uh, in shadow, so you have to put it like that. If it's flipped it's not looking nice because uh, you can see that you know that the light is coming from the right side and you have that, the shadow also on the right side, so that's not right, so make sure you have the, the bright part on the, on the right side. Let's put that there and let's name this violin and you can use a, a soft brush, you don't have to make any shapes here, just uh, darken this part here uh, but increase the brush, the, the opacity a bit and the flow and use a big soft brush and just paint some shadows like that make this one smaller maybe decrease the opacity a bit I'm gonna get here and to make that kind of contact shadow that I've made on the watch, I'll use a smaller brush and paint something like that. Okay, so that's that's my shadow there. One more stroke, like so. 